guys. Thanks Hello. for coming in. Hello. How are you doing? Doing all right. Yeah, right. not yeah, bad. Okay. Fresh faced after Isle of Wight? Mm. Just barely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had a long weekend. Did you go out this weekend? Do you know what? I, I look this haggard because I just got stuck into House of Cards. Because like, you're old. Oh, yeah. you're old. I haven't watched that. Yeah, just, yeah it's just like old. a binge, binge <laughs> watching. Yeah, yeah binge watching session. I know, it's silly, but. I think you look nice, don't worry about it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> got, you know, it's irritating me. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Make him look pretty. The rest is great. Cool. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, how was Isle of Wight? So it's good. Good. Yeah, we've got yeah. so much free stuff. Yeah. What do you get? Got shoes. Got, shoes. got a shirt. Tea. Frisbees. Got a frisbee. How many water? Glasses. Glasses. Yeah. Glasses. Yeah. Glasses. I got to sit in a uh, F1 car, that was good. Oh, they don't let you take it. You're going to keep it though. Weird. No. no. Okay. The, gig, the gig was good. The gig was also yeah, good. Yeah, how was that? Well, yeah, it, was, it was fine. It was, yeah, it, it, was, it, was good. it was good. It was good. Um, it was a first. <coughs> it was fine. I only said that because of it was the first of our summer festival. Yeah. So we were warming up. We were getting used to the stage again and getting used to playing those sort of size crowds. So it was, yeah, it was, it was a warm up for us in a good way. But it, was, it went really well. So do you, do you literally sort of like fly in, do your set, or do you get to spend some time there seeing other bands, or not really? Well, it depends yeah, what the schedule's yeah. like. Like any time we can try and stay at a festival, we will. There's a few yeah. over summer that um, have got really good lineups, and we just yeah. have to beg our yeah. tour managers to let, like, let us That's stay. Yeah. 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 Um, what was in Red Ahead at Glasgow yeah. this year? Oh, That's oh, a good nice. one. And they were seeing Foo Fighters at Rock Belgium. Yeah. But you don't yeah. think that they're at Glastonbury as well? We got go. Yeah. Got go. Oh. So this is it. Like if, there's a, if the schedule's really heavy, we have to literally play on the Friday Glastonbury, and then we go to Germany for Saturday and Sunday. Oh. So it's a lot of dieting around Europe this this summer. Did you meet Rod Stewart at Isle of Wight? No, no yeah. it's not another day. But we did meet Ricky from Kaiser Chiefs. So, so it's just as oh. good, really. <laughs> really yeah. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Judge on the voice. Yeah, not yeah. <coughs> broke up a best friendship with him, didn't you? I feel like we've got a lot in common. Yeah. His <laughs> flaming pink jacket was not one of them. <laughs> but um, no, he's a, he's a lovely man. He basically told us to prepare for if the band isn't a long life career and it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's basically not that successful. Yeah, he told us to get out of jobs. That was like how, that was how he prepared really. the interview. Yeah. So you're right. Yeah. You know, just to really years, just, just you know, you need that. It's quite a positive job. outlook, yeah, I think. Yeah. What would you do then in five years? Probably what he's doing, but you know, <laughs> but better. But, but well, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's quite, it's hard to do better than that, isn't it? He's, yeah. He's kind of like the pinnacle of, of oh that. Pinnacle <laughs> <laughs> of what? Pinnacle of what? Of what? Of the Kaiser Chiefs. He was nice. He's on the voice. Do you know what's your voice? Yeah. voice? Was he in the Kaiser Chiefs? Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was fancy. Did you know who you were talking to at Isle of Wight Festival? No, no idea. I know he did Boma though. She's lovely. That's She's right. a very nice lady. We met her on Sunday brunch, didn't we? Yeah, we had eggs with her. Yeah. Oh, that's She's nice. Great. Yeah, and you're playing Glastonbury this year. We are. Is it your second time? It is. We played. Yes. We played on the John Peel stage yeah. last year. Now you're on the other stage, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Second no, second yeah. We're slowly climbing up the bill. Yeah, headliners Before, next year? Uh, no, because we've got to fail and then become presenters like Ricky. <laughs> fail, that's a strong word. I don't mean that, you, Ricky. You, you threw that out <laughs> there. Yeah. 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 He's not failing because he's still doing the band. He's, he's, doing he's juggling. He's moonlighting. Yeah, he's, he's moonlighting, yeah. yeah. Well, that's out there now. It's fine. <laughs> he's a nice guy. He knows we like him, really. <laughs> so who are you looking forward to seeing at Glastonbury? It's got to be Radiohead, Radiohead, Radiohead yeah, yeah. Actually, Have you seen them before? Yeah. yeah. We, we had the experience of seeing them in... Uh, in the summer in Japan. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, nice. And just in Montreal, wasn't Canada, it? Yeah. 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 The whole evening on the Friday is good. I think it's the XX and Royal Blood and... Yeah. 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 That's going to be good. Good day. I'm guessing you'd quite like to headline that festival. I think anyone anyone in a yeah. band would, would dream to do that. I think that's like what you set out to do. That's one of those like milestones, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, I think we're a little way, little way off yet, but we'll just keep pretending to know what they're doing. Do you, ever, do you ever go to these festivals and see loads of bands obviously like you've been fans of and still get a bit starstruck? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a recurring theme here. Um, um, I don't think I've been properly starstruck yet. I think if no, I met Dave Roll, it'd be fun. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he got, like, that's the reason I play music. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I did meet him in a lift. Yeah. All right, this was this was a sore subject. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Actually, we were talk talk about it in front of Joe. We were, we, were at the Brit, we were at the Brit Awards after party at the Shard, and Phil was in the lift, right? And he came in. He was just like, it was just this guy in like a big hood just got in the lift, and I was a bit freaked out. I was like, who the hell is this? And he just turned around and was like, hey, I'm Dave. And everyone obviously oh, was know. like, we know. <laughs> and then Phil's text the group, just be yeah, like, say. Phil texts the group, just be like, oh my God, I've just met Dave Grohl. And as he was texting me, I bumped into Dave Grohl upstairs and I was just like, this is the most mad thing ever. So he, he is like, he's like the fucking, sorry, I just swore, I didn't mean oh, to. Apologies for sorry. that. Sorry. Uh, he's like <laughs> rock, you know, yeah. what's royalty, I suppose. And he's the guy that everyone wants to meet. Nicest guy. Was he life. nice? He was really sweet, yeah. wasn't he? 
Yeah, really nice. Really I, nice. I had the pleasure of meeting Tom York as well, who's a bit of an idol of all of us. Oh, I'm yeah, quite jealous of that. Mm. Yeah. Um, what he, was he like? Slightly less talkative, mm. but very sweet. Yeah. Um, I think he didn't like, I'm quite like abrasive and loud and obnoxious and I don't think that, that sort of thing <laughs> deals with <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Uh, but he, he d I don't think that matches with his personality so he's obviously quite a reserved person. Yeah. But he was he was really nice. You really might bring nice. him out of his shell. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get, maybe next time. But <laughs> no, I don't yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, tell us a little bit about Amsterdam because obviously it's a new <coughs> single from the upcoming album. Mm -hmm. It's quite an angry song. Yeah, quite angry song. We wrote the album in 2016. A lot of yeah. people were angry, aren't they? Yeah. We were angry. It wasn't angry, yeah. Wasn't angry, okay. <laughs> um, well, we wanted to come back with like something big and like yeah. in the face. Um, like there was that. Do you remember when Artie Monkeys came out of Brian Storm? Yeah. Second album. You were going like, for that. We were like, that's. I just did it right, didn't they? Did it right. So we were, yeah, we just sort of fed our laps really that song. Yeah. Mm. What was what sort of the the story behind it? What the what how it came about? Yeah. Um, we did it very nearly didn't get recorded. How come? Um, we sort of did it in our house, didn't we? In yep. the bedroom. Yep. Um, sort of played half the song. And yeah. We're like, oh, it's alright. I'm not sure about this. And then we sort of shelved it. And we had, we had about forty songs going into recording the album. Yeah. And Connor was like, I think this song might have something. We we're like, okay, gave another listen. Decided to give it a go. And then we recorded it. And it was like the first single back. So. It was, a, it was yes. yeah, it was a pleasant surprise, and yeah. it's the first time Connor's been right about something. First thing I've ever done. Yeah. In my life. Like yeah. Trust him more often. Yeah, so he's you done. Good. You've done good there. Thanks, mate. And is that is that sort of like an indicator of what we can expect from the album? There's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. In some way, it, 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 in a way, it's, it's, the, it's the only similarity to the first album is that um, we didn't kind of pigeonhole ourselves again. Mm. You know, that's the only thing I can say about that. There's no real similarity. It's just that we wrote whatever we wanted to mm. and put it in a in an eleven track album. Yeah. I'd say probably we stretch if anything we stretched it. Yeah, we probably so pushed our boundaries. Yeah. yeah so like the, the, the harder moments are harder. We never yeah. moments are sweet. Yeah. But we again haven't yeah, we never pigeon ourselves into a sound. We just do what we want and so it's just been all, it's all been a, like extremized a bit like Joe was saying. I think that's one thing that we've <laughs> learned, like we can push the boundaries a bit more and not yeah. be afraid to just like, yeah. sort of experiment a bit harder and see what comes out. So. Were you were you kind of a bit more nervous going into the second album? Because obviously you've got the fan base now. You've done album yeah. number one. I think it was for like a month. Over, We recorded in January and in December I think I was chatting to Dom and we were like, oh God, we're about to record this now. Yeah. Is, it, is it there? Is it ready? Is it good enough? Are we feeling good about it? And then once we got it all together, when we got there in LA, we were feeling good, I think. Yeah. Just a, a momentary moment of yeah. nerves. Yeah. Sure. We, we think it's better than the first one. Yeah. I think if you think that then you can't yeah. be that nervous yeah. about it. Yeah. 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 Sure. How, how, d how did the sort of recording process work with this one? Because for the first one, weren't you sort of holed up in a garage? Yeah, well, writing that it? Was that song, yeah. yeah, that was when we were we were all living in Essex and yeah. we'd, we'd have like, it, you can't really call it a studio, it's basically <coughs> like a laptop and some speakers in my garage at home and like we would just be do, doing demos like week in, week out until we had like X amount of songs to go and record properly at the studio. But this time round we were writing on the road and we were still demoing loads, like especially like when we were in the hotels or on the tour bus or whatever, we had like a portable studio. And then when it came to it, we had a load of songs when we were coming off tour, so we could go straight into um, straight into recording in, in LA and we were there for two months. It's quite a quick turnaround for us. The first album was spanned over like six months to a year or something mm. to record. And this one was like literally, yeah, I think we did it in seven weeks. So. Oh, that's quite quick. Yeah, for, in comparison, which is good because it meant we had to make decisions on the spot. Yeah. And not, we didn't sort of like uh, overthink anything or have time to go back and change it. So. I think that was the best way of doing it. If you have a long writing period and a short recording, <coughs> yeah. I think that really suited us. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Do you all sort of chip in with the writing or how does it work between the five of you? It's, it starts with me, uh, Connor and Dom. We write, write the bass of the song. Yeah. Um, and then when we get to the studio, we kind of all band about ideas for you know, arrangement and that sort yeah. of thing. And, um, Just gets explored a bit more, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And how have you found the response to Amsterdam? Because it's doing well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it really, really yeah. well. Like, and especially live, it was, uh, we pl we had it out on Spotify for like three days. We mm. played a show in Leeds. Is it Leeds? Yeah. Anyway, it was the first time we played it and so many people were singing it already and like, Jumping, like yeah. They've known it for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Do people do that scream though? They try. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> they try. <laughs> I'm trying to pass out. Yeah. Um, but um, 
Yeah, the reaction when we came off stage of that gig, we were like, wow, we, yeah. you know, we're glad we released it. But all, all the gigs since that's Yeah, it's best. just got yeah, better and better. Yeah. So people have got yeah. to know it more and more, obviously, over the last few weeks, and yeah. I can't wait for playing it in Amsterdam. In a couple of days. Two days. Yeah. It must be nice for you as well to have like that new material to play. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I think, we, like, we, we toured for like two years. Yeah. Probably longer because three years, yeah. three years before we even released the first album. Yeah. And then the two years subsequently. Um, and it was ridiculous. It it's nice to have like a like you look you look you look forward to that. Yeah, it, it is definitely like a moment of well, it's just different for us, and it's, it's it feels like we're offering something new, and it's been a while yeah. to, for us to be able to do that. So yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a, a highlight for us. And how how is touring? Because obviously you've toured with a lot of people, you've done your own tours. Mm. Do you have any like diva demands now for your riders? I think we're quite good. Connor, do you want to answer this question? <laughs> 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 what, what's the answer? Um, not like stuffed white lambs like Mariah Carey. No, no, I'm not a no, mate. I just, uh, I, I'm a bit, uh, Dom always says when he gets to 1am, I'm just a... He turns his up. I don't like him when he's well, post one a.m. <laughs> Connor likes him when one a.m. in the morning. Yeah, all, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Con um, Connor, Connor likes to sleep, which is fine. I'm just grumpy, I'm tired, and uh, I guess yeah, tour was uh, it's tougher time for me in terms of my sleep. So yeah, I was a bit uh, not on thievery. I just needed to <laughs> leave me alone. Get my bed. In, in terms yeah. of like rider requests, I think we're quite yeah, normal we're as long as there's like the fundamentals of beer. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing in a rider? Pumas. Yeah. That's yeah. What's what once we ordered a, um, a, what's it called? What's that thing outside our house called? A dinghy. A dinghy. Uh, yeah, we put, oh yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we oh, actually, I'll tell you, this is quite a good story. We put, uh, we request like Z list celebrities, like for signatures, like autographs. Yeah. And uh, on the fridge at the moment, <laughs> we've got Ainsley Harriet, which is great. We've got Alan Titchmarsh from uh, Ground oh, Force. Great. Have you ever read his novels? Uh, no, I haven't, I haven't got the time yet. I'll get around <laughs> to it. When you're on tour. And then uh, the next one, which I really like, is Piers Bosnan. And he's pull, pulling a really, really he's good. Zed list, he's Zed list. He's definitely Zed list. He's definitely not a Zed list. He was James I'm, Bond. I'm also yeah. not sure that that's he's a real signature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, really. Yeah, Why don't tell me this? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to do some fan questions. Okay. Lovely. Just grab some. Right. So, Harry from Manchester says, "What do you all do when you're not with the band?" I'll let you know when it happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we live together as well. <laughs> um, do you all live together? No, no really we're on tour in, in a normal year for like yeah. nine months, ten months a year. Yeah. So. What, do I, what do I do? You just. You do I do more you music. Do tour, I, just, I, just, I just go out. I just go out. I just go out. I'm never. Yeah, he's always out. What do you do? So you watch, you watch a lot of TV. It's really boring. We're boring yeah, people. Boring. We but are but really then you've got to take the boring yeah. with what you do anyway, so we just try and relax. You so need Joe, that sometimes. Joe looks himself away for a few days. He's just like, where's he gone? Yeah, I see it. I'm own time in my room. Yeah. He's like, I'm on season eight of Suits or whatever it is. Suits is wicked. All those Yeah, we just lock ourselves away. Don carries on his life. He just parties. Just like to get drunk. <laughs> just keeps going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Tessa from London says, "Have you ever had a falling out?" Um, not really. Sometimes we shout at each other, but then we like realise that it's not very nice to shout, and then we no. stop. Yeah. Sorry. Sounds sorry. Uh, I think it does. Think it's it's never lasted long. more than like no. an hour. We're, no. we're really, we're really. You've, lucky. Got, you've got to get out of the environment you're in, and then like you become friends again with yeah. that yeah. outside yeah. the van. Or, yeah. yeah. I think most of like, if we ever have like debates or anything, it's about like creative stuff. I think it'd be a bit weird if that didn't happen because, like, ultimately, if you've got five people that are trying to like create something, they all have yeah. a different like opinion and they're trying to have their input. Like, you're ultimately going to have a moment where someone feels differently about something. Yeah, I always. I always, think it's healthy. I always think being yeah. in a band is like being married to four. Of yeah. yeah. Yeah, which sounds yeah, like a dream. So you, you got <laughs> yeah. you push them all. You know. But Imagine. We are uh, like Joseph. We are all friends first. Yeah. So that comes. We're cousins first. And friends and never. Amber <laughs> 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 um, from Birmingham says, "What's your favourite thing about touring? Playing the shows, we should say. What is that thing? Should say. Should say. What do you want to say? I think that's probably mine. Yeah, 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 but the closely shows. followed by the travelling. I, I love that. Yeah. I love yeah. seeing new places. You can't beat that buzz of like the half hour of coming off stage and you're just sort of like, there's a bit of a shake going on, you just like get me a beer and you sit down and then you just sort of reflect on what just happened and it feels like that, that hour that you played was like five minutes. Yeah. And, um, there's always like we come off stage and we're like, did you, did you see that? Did you hear people singing along to that? Or did you notice this guy doing that? It's like always quite, um, uh, I don't know. It's quite good that we it's still do that, don't we? we that's yeah, that's really fresh though. Yeah. Yeah. People, yeah. people ask like, oh, is it not boring? You play the same songs every night and like the... 
two years, but those things do Everything make a difference. Yeah. But then you get different crowds, you're in different yeah, exactly. places. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Conversely to that, on the other side of it, is the worst things about touring are definitely the like the travelling in terms of the airports uh, and sitting in buses yeah. or, or yeah. vans. Like the bulk of it. You're living the dream. It's like I was sat in an airport for like <laughs> hours, and then, it, then it got delayed, and then I had to get a transfer, and then they had to get a bus, and you're just sat there just like, it has its moments of... Yeah. Yeah. Of dullness to say. What do you think you would have done if you weren't in a band? <laughs> See, I don't know. didn't we? We were talking yeah, about what this was in your, New York. What was the answer? We're not. You, you would have. You'd have kept. I like, think I'd, you'd have done something with new music, wouldn't you? I would have gone into music because I can't yeah. do anything else. I'm useless. <laughs> Joe's got degrees, all right. Doctor. Price. No. Still be burnt. No. <laughs> can't stand blood. No, but what if you, what if you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, as you can tell by our lack of, of answer there, yeah. like we're very grateful. Yes, yeah. so you've got to just cling on to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to do anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Be on the skills. We're on the voice in a week. Um, someone, Lucy on Facebook has written "lads" in capital letters. Would you say that that's accurate description of you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can be. I think. What's lad? What is a lad? Well, you just went to Magaluf. It's 2017. Oh, he's a lad. You just went to Magaluf. No, I did. Oh, you did. I popped like, <laughs> yeah, no, like, like lads. Guys, lads. Guys, yeah, guys. You're lad. guys uh, I did go to Magaluf. Who did you but watch? Who did you watch play? I don't want to tell you. I went to saw Cascada. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't say. Did you have glow paint on? on? You can't say. Oh, sorry. glow paint. Uh, no. Uh, Big fish whole, bowl. The whole thing, yeah, of woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was an experience that I'll I'll cherish for a long time, but I don't think I'll be back there in a rush. It was a it was a unique sort of clean One tell you get in Mag Maga, yeah. Okay. So it's just a Maga. Maga. He's calling it Maga. Maga. Yeah. Oh, right, we're gonna have a really, <laughs> really quick game okay. of would you rather? So pick them out. Are we asking you? Right. No. <laughs> you're <laughs> doing it. Well let's just ask let's answer collectively. Okay. Hi everyone. Would you rather have a fidget spinner for a hand or chopsticks for a leg? Fidget spinner for a hand. That would be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> That's great. How are you going to wash your hair? <laughs> with fidget, spin with with a fidget, fidget spinner. It's not going to cut. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. Actually, that was a stupid question for me. What's that? <laughs> would you rather? Oh, would you rather? Oh, right. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> 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 would you rather have, have twice or half the number of teeth you currently have? Twice or half? Yeah. Mm. Half. I mean, half. Sure. Half. Yeah, half probably. Twice. Half you, twice. Look, you look like an absolute menace. <laughs> <A> shark, <laughs> you never yeah. do anything. Yeah, but like, if you sit, yeah, shark, <laughs> open shark. Open shark. <laughs> quite scary, don't they? Yeah. Would you have, like, then would you have a bigger, like... Yeah, your jaw does mouth. go out. No. It said it, it was in brackets on the question. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, half. Yeah, read that out. Yeah, you wouldn't, yeah. really. So we're just what going... What would you do with your massive jaw? We're going to go for half. Would you rather be famous for writing Fifty Shades of Grey or Twilight? <laughs> my mum read Probably Fifty Shades not. of Grey, that was weird. She I like walked it? I think it would be weirder if you'd written it. Yeah. <laughs> and then your mum read it, yeah. 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 So maybe Twilight. Yeah, Twilight. Twilight. See, I mean, it's trash, but like, you can pass it off, can't you, really? The other one's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I actually, like, I did actually read, I thought, like, I'm just going to read a page of it, just see what happens. Fifty it? Shades? Yeah, so this and it is just like this. It's would you rather Don't would you rather <laughs> take on Phil Mitchell or Danny Dyer in a fight? See, Danny it, the, Danny the, Dyer. you're talking about a fictional character, yeah. and unless <laughs> Danny Dyer is, I sometimes <laughs> yeah. think he is actually a fictional character. Yeah, he could yeah, be. He's just a caricature of, you know, East London hard man. Yeah. Danny Dyer, I reckon, he talks the talk, but do you reckon he could throw a punch? I wouldn't want to find out actually. Yeah. Who are you going with? We've oh, got to wrap it up. I'd take Danny Dyer. Yeah. Danny Dyer. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, but. That's the last one. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Would you rather get trapped in a lift with Donald Trump or Katie Price? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, All day. Yeah. We're adding the story after that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Done. Thanks very much.